Jeez. Life of a hustler. Yo. Every day I'm on the hustle like that's all I know A 9 to 5 or out the streets long as I'm touching dough Ain't in a robin' full of pride, I'd rather get my own That's how I've been since what? I wasn't young and all that and, and, and as, as you can see, that whole discussion to take on the whole thing But I want you to know, brother, that you helped me and my brain will loosen uh, up What keeps you creative? What keeps your mojo going knowing that in an old uh, term, you can sell out because it's yeah. easy to do that shit. Yeah. I can go put this together real quick and give yeah. you exactly what you want, get my bread. So what keeps you solid on the principles that you grew up on? Well, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. if I don't find success in this, I did this because I, because I have a, a true love and a passion for it. Mm -hmm. So I don't give a fuck. About word. About, about you the better rest. tell them or I will. About Go the ahead. Rest. So the, the fact that I don't care uh -huh. about the rest, mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep being me regardless. Word. You know what I'm saying? So, word. And I'm 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 creative just by nature. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, if you if Come on, if bro. you talk to my family, they'll tell you about me writing books and Come on. Making, making comic books and. And 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 taking taking my mom's VHS camera to make little little movies, you know, right? Wow. Using my using my sisters as the uh, as the actresses and shit. <laughs> Word. Writing my own little screenplays. That's right. I'm just creative by nature. So right. right. So that's energy that has to come out. Right. Right. Regardless. Word. Regardless. Mm -hmm. Regardless. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stagnate myself by what the industry is doing. That's you right. Feel me? So right. I'm, I'm gonna do me. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And if 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 ninety percent of people that hear my shit or see my shit was like, nah, yeah, this fool, whatever, you know? still producing and creating for those few people that are like, yo, that's dope, right? That's right. That's all you that make matters. It all worth it. That's, that's all that right. matters to me. So y'all can hate if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, uh, but we gonna yeah. be here, baby. <laughs> you know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep being the tail. I'm gonna keep doing my thing. And, that's right. You know what I'm saying that's right. It's not for everybody. Just like my boy Severe said. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You know? That's right. How did you get the name until the alias? That's that's a funny story. Man. Yeah, I'm saying I want to laugh. <laughs> so check this out. Okay. Before I was until. Uh oh, goddamn. I used to call myself the lyrical Mexican. Okay. <laughs> and um, I just got to a point where I was like, the lyrical Mexican sound kind of corny. Like, okay. Like, that's okay. Kind of wow. Learn something new every day. Go ahead. I think I was like, probably like 14 years old. Okay. And <laughs> so. I mentioned KRS One, right? Mm -hmm. Mentioned Nas. Mm -hmm. uh, another big one for me is LL Cool J. You talked about LL Cool J, who is annihilating LL. suckers at cool. seventeen years old. Go ahead. So check this out. When I when I want when I was like, okay, I need a new name. I'm like, I want a little bit of this and a little bit of that, right? I want okay. I wanted something that that sounded, sounded kind of cool, but in my mind, at kid, I'm fourteen years old. It's right, right, okay. I, I might have not known what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but, uh, but, um, but like LL uh -huh. was, was big with the ladies. You know? Yeah. So I'm like, can I think of something that that might that the ladies might like? Go you know? ahead. So Go like, ahead. What, what might sound sexy? I don't know. So I kind of just started going through these different prepositions. Uh -huh. You know, like uh, y'all got that preposition. That's vocabulary. Go ahead. Preposition. Yeah. You better tell them all. I will. Yeah. yeah. I did. I did all this school. <laughs> <laughs> I might have, I might have this, but you know, I'm, I'm always a right. smart motherfucker. Go ahead. So, um, so I started going through them, you know, like before, after, you know, mm. uh, under, mm -hmm. over, like, you know, preposition. So, like, until, oh shit, that kind of sound, that kind of sound, kind of, kind of sexy right there a little bit. Wow. <laughs> so, so I'm like, I'm gonna roll with that. I'm gonna roll too. And then it, it just grew meaning mm -hmm. after that. Mm -hmm. I kind of started. I started to add to it. Mm -hmm. Something that I really don't say a whole lot anymore is that "until" was short for uh, "untouchable Latino." Mm -hmm. I used to say that, mm -hmm. um, but what I, what I kind of stuck with a little bit longer was uh, "until." For me, actually means um, endless possibilities because until mm -hmm. people people say like "until what?" Well, that's the right. thing. Until until I say, until I yeah. say something. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, you feel me? That is hip. So, so that's what that's what just stuck. It just stuck. With Word. Uh, the man talked about the principles he grew up on that we grew up on listening to hip hop. 
If you don't know, go listen to X Clan when Brother J says, without definition, you represent the fraudulent. Hmm? Sissy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I got the yeah. chills because it's yeah. real. Yo, man. Yeah. When you got definition, it's going for the long ride, baby. Huh? Now, you mentioned comic books, right? Yeah. You, we could ask your family, you write, you, draw, you write screenplays. Because mm -hmm. back when we used to hang out at the other studio on the other side in South Ridge, we used to get going about burners. Mm -hmm. And he was like the first cat that when I said burner, knew what it was. And then we would, of course, I was drunk at the time. And we would just have a blast about burners and the art which is called graffiti, which Karis one uh, talks about a lot. I recently learned within the last 10 years that Fat Joe was a writer. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't know that's how that was him and Karis one connection from the Bronx. Yeah. But, uh, you know, what's your take on burners, man? Have you put one up lately? Don't answer that <laughs> thing we on camera. <laughs> you know, but I'm going to leave that conversation. Right. For, for my you, got, you got a lot to say about that. Okay. So, Word, but so the, the, you know, yeah. all of that, man, the, the burners being able to see the burner and uh, admire it. And, and now, okay, I will say this though, go ahead. <laughs> yes. I did go through my little, my little tagging stage, okay? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say what I used to tag, but right, but I right, just, yeah, we ain't gonna say that shit. I did some stupid shit, we don't know the uh, the statutory limitations on that, you know, but uh, that was just some, some dumb high school shit. Word. But you still That's, admire it when you see it done right. When, when it's done right, yeah. Yeah. When it's done right. Let me ask you this. As a mature man, father, husband, and all that, yeah. you can't stand to see that shit in your neighborhood. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Come on, Come man. man. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't lie. Oh, my God. Check this out. That's a, That's a crazy thing, man. I'm a... Um, I love the way graffiti looks. Right. When Absolutely. It, when, it's, when it's done right. When it's done right. When it's done right. Done right. But man, <laughs> I bought a home in uh in, in Riverside. Yeah. And um we was, you know, was going through the neighborhood and I seen some ugly ass graffiti on the uh on the brick wall. Yeah. Like you go down the street, you make a right, but mm -hmm. there's a brick wall, and mm -hmm. you see this ugly ass graffiti. Yeah. And I'm like, this boy, motherfucker. This yeah. Boy, you know, <laughs> I used to do the same shit though. Right. <laughs> but it's just funny right. you get older. You right. Just, you just see things different. Man. Different. It's place and time for everything, man. <laughs> place and time for everything. You know, yo. If you're going to do it right, do it where it counts. Don't do no stupid, ugly graffiti. I mean, I don't like seeing that shit at the gas station. Come like, on, bro. I don't like seeing that shit in the fucking bathroom. Come on. You know? Hip hop. That shit's ugly. Oh my God, man. <laughs> Dude, I can't stand it. Yeah. And like you say, when you see it done, like where I'm at, yeah. they got a warehouse coming up. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I think the motherfuckers that's building the warehouse started the fire in order to get the land. Another story for another day. Huge wall. And somebody hit it. Trash. But this is in my neighborhood. Yeah. Right? I'll tell you a story real quick. My son going freshman in high school. We living in a condo in Ontario, right? And one day I come out and on the wall is some bullshit. No, I'm, I'm lying. I'm lying. I went through his book and he had little block letters and, you know. And I said, when you get on the bus tomorrow, you tell your whole crew, if this show up in this community, I'm kicking your ass. So put the word on the bus, right? Because... Put it somewhere, and like you say, make it count, man. Yeah, yeah. To where the other graffiti artists don't want to come and cover yours up. Yeah. But that tagging, man, on the back of the damn stop signs yeah. and in the uh, and on the gas pump, y'all please stop doing that. And, and, and they so disrespectful with it, man. So disrespectful. They, so disrespectful. Who who was it that made a, 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 a it was a beautiful mural of, of a, I can't remember who it was. Was it uh was it uh Prodigy, mm -hmm. or was it, um, it the one where they did Nip and Nipsey. dude came out was of the, Nipsey? yes, and came and whacked it out. Yeah, it was Nipsey. It yeah. was Nipsey. It was Nipsey. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm thinking of. Right. And it's, it's like you leave that. Real quick segue. Did you experience going over there after the brother went down? No, it wasn't brother. Brother? 
that shit was almost like the wailing wall, man. Yeah. Because we had uh, my wife's little cousin came and she a young lady, mm -hmm. right? So, hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. So I wasn't a fan of Nip. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Nipsey. Word. Yeah. I, I was ignorant, stuck in my ways. Yeah. Cause I remember when they rolled on him at uh, the Palladium mm -hmm. and had them all lined up on the wall, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm super duper conscious at the time. This is years ago, before the world knew who he was. Mm -hmm. But then when I started, he to me he was similar to Pac in this situation for me. Mm -hmm. All you little sensitive fucks, I'm not comparing them to pop. <laughs> I would rather listen to you in an interview mm -hmm. than to listen to your music. But it's about four of his tracks that I bang on the bike when I'm pulling up on set. Yeah. But brother, our little cousin wanted to go to the place. Mm -hmm. I had to speak down on El Segundo the night after the funeral when they went through the city. Mm. Right? So we drive her up there, and man, I'm telling you, you could feel the 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 greatness and the homage and the oh, yeah. and you know little bros out there blowing their weed, but it's people it, it, people that don't you don't even it, put it like this. People you know would not be there, right? Don't look nothing like us. Yeah. I'm talking about from other countries, they ain't yeah. even speaking English, is yeah. there. And little bruh sitting there blowing their weed. I say, man, this is like the well and wall. Mm -hmm. And the dude was like, I ain't never looked at it like that. <laughs> hey, man, y'all want to go get something to eat? <laughs> you know? But yeah. it, it, it was dope to uh, feel that, man, yeah, yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and, yeah. and see that. But, yeah, dude, beautiful mural. Yeah. And the dude, this was before he had whacked it yeah, out, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it, it, disrespectful, bruh. I don't give a damn what you believe yeah. or whatever you is. You leave that alone and go on find something else to play on. Yeah. But word, man. Yeah. My yeah. bad. Let's bring it back. Select the come rewind. Yeah. You know, so now when you in your creative process, right, when you either get ready to sit with the pen or you get ready to produce a track, does it come to you? Do you look for inspiration before producing or are you doing something else and then it come and you kind of hum it, make it like how, how what what starts it all? Well, like I said, you know, I got that creative bug, right? Right, right. So I'm a working man, right? So okay. so a lot of times I'll be tired. Right, right, okay. You know, so sometimes that creative bug don't don't just come out. Come, right, right. But when it do, mm -hmm. it just hits me. It just hits me, you know? Mm. And it's just like, oh, I gotta I gotta do something. I'm just feeling this creative juice right mm -hmm. here. Mm-hmm. And then um, it's just whatever comes out of it, you know, whether, mm -hmm. whether I feel like writing, whether I feel like making a beat. Life of a hustler. Whatever comes of it. Um, <laughs> Got another Yo. question for you. Go ahead. Every day I'm on the hustle like that's all I know A nine to five or out the streets long as I'm touching dope Ain't in a robin full of pride, I'd rather get my own That's how I've been since I wasn't young and then now I'm grown